Hello, hello, everybody. Good morning and welcome to your week of miracles. Glory to God. I am so excited this morning. I'm excited. I just finished our first breakthrough blast with my breakthrough coaching group. Hallelujah. If you would like to be a part, we'll post a link here um, shortly on the broadcast. Hallelujah. But I am excited about what it is that God is going to do in your life this morning. Good morning, Sarah. You're the first one. God bless you. Hallelujah. I heard a number of prophetic words for August, and I'm actually working on a whole prophetic word for it. Blessed morning, April. God bless you. Linda, good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, did y'all enjoy the 40 days of breakthrough last week, Thursday? For the next five Thursdays, I'm doing a series it's called 40 Days of Breakthrough. So I'm actually coming on. Hey, Linda, I love you. I'm actually coming on on Thursday night as well uh, to minister to you all and to pray over your prayer requests. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, everybody. Good morning. I see you jumping on. Begin to share the broadcast as you jump on this morning. Jennifer, I love you so much. Glory to God. I will say good morning. I love you. God bless you. Marge, good morning. God bless you as you jump on. Y'all begin to share this broadcast. I heard the Lord say a lot of things for the month of August. Sorry, I got my neck. I heard the Lord say a number of things for the month of August, but I wanted to come in. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Hallelujah. Sisters look alike, right? <laughs> Laura, you're beautiful too. Glory to God. I'm excited. I'm expecting. I just finished my first uh, breakthrough. Good morning, Pastor Carries. I love you, my sweetheart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everybody, go ahead and share the broadcast as you begin to jump on. Hallelujah. Rebecca, good morning. Roxanne, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm excited. As you jump on this morning, I want you to type out uh, today marks the beginning of the best days of my life. Kelly, good morning. I love you so much. I want you to type out as you jump on today. Hello, beautiful Maria. God bless you. Type out today marks the beginning of the best days of my life. Hallelujah. Yes. Jennifer, yes, I just did a breakthrough blast. Good morning, Prophet Jason, Apostle Jason. Y'all, Apostle Jason is joining me next month. But before I do that, somebody was just asking, what is a breakthrough blast? Breakthrough Blast is my Monday declaration with my Breakthrough Coaching Group. We officially launched this weekend. Everybody's so excited in there. We have a ton of people that have signed up. If you're interested, just type out, I'm interested. I'll send you a link. Hallelujah. And uh, you can be a part. Uh, but Apostle Jason Renville, I hope it's okay. I don't put you on the spot, man of God. He is an ambassador to the United Nations. He works with the White House. And uh, he is also a, 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 an apostle. And he will be joining us in two weeks, hallelujah, for our, uh, he will be joining us for our night of breakthrough. Hey, Teresa, I love you. So, Apostle Jason Renville, like I said, he is the, we're just so honored to know him. He is so humble. You would never know, but he is the, hey, Ruby, I love you. He's an ambassador to the United Nations. He is a, um, he's an apostle of God. Hallelujah. He's a minister. And uh, we, I got the privilege of meeting him. We were ministering together at the conference a couple of years ago, and he's just, he and his beautiful wife are so amazing. And he will be joining us on 40 Days of Breakthrough in two weeks. Hallelujah. Yeah. So y'all check out his page. If you have not met of God, we're just so excited to have you. That's my big brother right there. Y'all he got my back. Hallelujah. Thank you. Ruva. Ruva says I'm so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I want you to type out this morning as you jump on. Welcome to the beginning. Type out. I am stepping into, you can take it for yourself. Type out. I am stepping into the beginning of the best days of my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ruva. Type out. I am stepping into the beginning of the best days of my life. For those of you that just jumped on, I am doing 40 days of breakthrough. Hey, Stella, God bless you. So every Thursday, I am uh, I'm coming on live at about 8.30, just for about 30 minutes to pray over your prayer requests. Hallelujah. And so the Lord gave me a word for August, and that's what I want to release to you today. The Lord gave me two, hey, Georgia, I love you. The Lord gave me two strategic uh, visions for the month of August, and I want to begin to share that with you. The Lord told me that August is going 
going to be a month of resurrection, that things that have died prematurely, promises that have died prematurely shall be quickened and shall come back to life. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says that Lazarus, hallelujah, hey, McCurl, God bless. Y'all begin to share this broadcast as you jump on. Let me go ahead and share because y'all, I'm ready to preach. And once I start preaching, I'm, there's no turning back. Hallelujah. So everybody right now, go ahead and share the broadcast and type out hashtag share. Hallelujah. We are ready to run. We are ready to soar. Destiny, good morning. I love you. Hey, I just saw you a few minutes ago in coaching group, Destiny. Sandra is also one of our people. Hallelujah. Sandra, I saw you in coaching group. God bless you. Watching from Ethiopia, God bless you. As you jump on, begin to tap out. I am stepping into the beginning of the best days of my life. Diane, have you found the group? Hallelujah. I saw where you signed up, but make sure you look at the group this morning. Glory to God. I am stepping into the beginning of the best days of my life. Hey, Gary, I love you. God bless you. I declare in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Who said, send me the link? Marge, if y'all can, somebody can send Marge a link. Maybe, I don't know if Efe or Josh is watching. And Marge, if not, I'll just message you after the broadcast. <laughs> and uh, we can, I, I can make sure that you get in okay. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Rabba shaka, rabba baba shake it, it will sata. Endorable kura baba shaka. I really feel a, a, a declarative, a prophetic declarative atmosphere. And so I want to begin, I'm going to begin to, uh, yeah, Mark, I'll send you a message with the link. My team may be able to post it here in a second. Love you, Awele. God bless you. Hallelujah. Zonda, Rabba, Baba, Shaka, Redable, Kore, Baba, Baba, Sheke. Y'all share the broadcast. Let me go ahead and share it because I'm feeling a heavy anointing. I was praying for you yesterday. Y'all, I've been really busy, and so I haven't been able to spend. Good morning, Prophetess Nancy. I love you. I haven't been able to spend as much time in prayer, but yesterday I was on my face for many hours. I was on my face for about six hours. Hallelujah. Um, thank you. Uh, Jojo, no, 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 no. Jojo, delete that one. <laughs> we have everybody running to our coaching group. Share the website. Hallelujah. Jojo is trying to help. <laughs> That's what happened when the intercessor tried to do the admin. <laughs> she went ahead and posted the group. I love you, Jojo. <laughs> Jojo, go ahead and delete that one and post the, the website link. Hallelujah. <laughs> she was trying to help. We'll give Jojo an A for effort, right? I love you, Jojo. Mwah. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God has a sense of humor, right? So I'm going to go ahead and share the broadcast. Everybody, make sure you share it. Glory to God. We are getting into the word this morning. Let's begin to welcome the spirit of God. Like I was saying, you know, I'm just letting y'all know. I was praying for y'all for hours yesterday, six hours. <laughs> I'm not saying it to sound spiritual. I'm saying it because I want you to know that I'm passionate. Because I know what God said to me about your breakthrough. I know what God said to me about the manifestation of your miracle. I know what God said to me about the manifestation of your promise. Glory to God. Rabbi and so I know that it will no longer be delayed. I know that it will no longer be denied in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who is watching this morning that feels like it is already too late. Glory to God. You're feeling like it's already too late. You're feeling like it's already been too long. Joshua, if you can share that coaching link so that way people are asking about it so they can jump on and be a part. Hallelujah. Zonda Rabba Baba Sheke de the Botsata. Onda Rabba Seke de the Boseke de the Boseke Rabba Sheke. Kondre Baba 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 Baba. Onda Rabba Kasheke de the Botsata. Some people are feeling this morning like it's been it's been too late. Hallelujah. This was not my message, but I'm feeling. I, I kept dreaming all night about resurrection. I kept dreaming all night about resurrection. And I heard the Spirit of God say, that which has died prematurely is about to quicken and come back to life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which has died. That robo shaka, terrible shaka. Marge, there is the link if you want to be a part. Hallelujah. Jojo, thank you for trying to help. I love you so much. I hope you're still watching. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Reba baba shakara baba seke de le bosa. Onda reba sheke de le bako reba shaka. Everybody type out all capital letters. Resurrection. How many of y'all know that when, when Lazarus died, it was a bad day for Mary and Martha? Hallelujah. But I heard a minister say, you're welcome, March. There was a time. Love you, Jojo. Mwah. <laughs> Jojo's fam right there. <laughs> she don't care. She'll take up and try to help if Josh is running late, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I love y'all so much. God bless you. I have the most amazing team on earth. Hallelujah. And so anyways, so uh, 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 Lazarus had, had been dead for four days. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know that that was not a good day for Mary and Martha? I remember recent. Hey, Wendy, I love you. Hey, everybody, welcome. Share the broadcast as you jump on. Hallelujah. Robot Shekere Baksata. Share the broadcast as you jump on. And uh, uh, type that hashtag share. I always tell people one of the ways to sow, to reap breakthrough is by sowing breakthrough through and a very easy way to sow breakthrough this morning is by sharing this broadcast on your page share it to all the groups that you are a part of i'm about to jump right into the word of god y'all i feel like i'm about to take off running the glory of the lord is heavy upon this broadcast this morning there's going to be birthing take place there's going to be resurrection take place I heard the Spirit of God say, as we move into the month of August, I hear the Lord say, new dimensions. New dimensions. Wendy, I love you. New dimensions that we have not accessed in the past. Hallelujah. We are about to access. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, everything that has kept us bound, everything that has held us back, everything that has held up our promises, they are going to break by force in the name of Jesus. Blessings, wonder, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. At one time, I was facing a situation, y'all. <coughs> I was in, I've been in the United States now for about 17 years. Hallelujah. I came in on a student visa and, 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 and for seven, for about, for the first 14 years, I had to labor every six months. They threatened to throw me out of the country because I was here on a student at Abasha. I feel the presence of God. Somebody watching right now is facing a situation with immigration and I see the power of God moving right now. It's a lady, you're watching. You're fixing the situation with immigration. And the Lord said he's going to move this week by force in the name of Jesus. 16 years. For 14 years, they tried to throw me out of the country. I had to stand before my school authorities. I had to work a cleaning job for 20 hours a week. But somehow I was, I was supposed to come up with $6,000 every four months to pay. for. You couldn't work off campus as an international student. And I learned. That's where I learned. I learned, y'all, I learned it on the floor, on the church of God, crying out to God for many hours. My paperwork is about to be canceled. I learned the power of breakthrough. I learned the power of the God of the 11th hour miracle. I learned the power of the God that when he says, Arabasha, humanly speaking, it may be impossible, but with God, nothing is impossible. Thank you, Sandra. I feel the presence of God. I feel the glory of the Lord filling the room. I remember one time I was facing an immigration situation. And a man of God, his name is Pastor Sibyl. He said to me, he said, Agnes, you're about to experience God in a different dimension. Arabashanda reketonze riakota mandere bakuashkata. He said to me, he took me out to eat. Amazing man of God, him and his wife. He took me out to dinner. They bought my food. And he said, Agnes, I want to speak into your life. He said, Mary and Martha 
had experienced Jesus as healer, but they had not yet experienced him as the dead raiser. I don't know if there's some, I feel like this is not my message. I feel like there's somebody watching this morning who is facing unprecedented crisis. And I hear the Spirit of God say, I am the Lord, the God of our flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? If there's nothing too difficult for your God this morning, I want you to share this broadcast. Let somebody on your page know. Let somebody on your page know that the God of the impossible is in the room. I'm going to read. It wasn't my message, but I'm going to read from the book of Joshua. Actually, you know what? I could probably find it by myself. I'm going to read from the book of Joshua where it talks about Lazarus had already died. I want to speak to somebody watching this morning who is saying that their promise, that it's too late, that their promise has already died. Somebody's watching this morning and you're saying, Agnes, I wish you came before I went through the divorce. Somebody's watching this morning and you're saying, Agnes, I wish you came before the child got bound in drug addiction. Somebody's watching that you're saying, Agnes, I wish you came before my husband started, started getting bound in pornography. Somebody's watching this morning and you're saying, Agnes, I wish you came before I filed for the bankruptcy. I don't know who is watching this morning whose promise may have died. I hear the Spirit of God say, as you move into August, every promise that died prematurely shall now be released to you suddenly. Somebody needs to share this as you jump on. Type out all capital letters suddenly. Thank you, uh, Sandra. John 11. Is it John 11? Is that what you said? Everybody turn with me to John 11. There is resurrection power in the room this morning. Ah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I see where 37 people have shared it this morning. Before we get into the word, if every single person watching can share it and type out hashtag share this morning. And then I want you to go to John 11. First of all, I want you to welcome my best friend, the spirit of God, the spirit of breakthrough. I want to speak to you this morning about the six P, the, the eight P's of the eight month. It's so interesting. There are 80 people watching right now. The Lord told me that there are going to be eight P's that are going to be released to you in this eight month. I'm going to release it to you here in a second, but I want to start out in John 11 this morning. <clears throat> Glory to God. John chapter 11. If you have your Bibles, if you can turn with me. First of all, I want more people to share it this morning. And tap out hashtag share. And then I want you to go with me to the book of John chapter number 11. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It was not my message, but I jumped on the broadcast all through last night. I was having these dreams and visions about resurrection taking place. And when I woke up this morning, the Lord said to me to say to somebody who has been in a place where it seemed like your promise may have died that this morning in the name of Jesus, your promise is about to be resurrected. Somebody said they feel like it's too late to start again, but I'm telling you in Jesus mighty name, we are moving it to a Joe 2 season. I have come to announce to you this morning, I have come to make a prophetic proclamation in the name of Jesus that every promise that has died prematurely shall be resurrected resurrected and released and returned to you suddenly in the name of Jesus. Uh, Pastor Jason, good morning. Everybody type out all capital letters suddenly. John chapter 11. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, I want you to get your Bible. Kenneth Copeland, uh, 
But Papa Kenneth Copeland, he says the memory of a potato is not a potato. He said one time he was believing for breakthrough and he prayed and he kept quoting scripture and quoting scripture. And the Lord, he finally said, God, I'm missing it. What am I not doing right? And the Lord said to him, Kenneth, you are quoting the scriptures from your memory. And the Lord said to him, the memory of a potato is not a potato. If you are sitting there hungry and you said, oh man, I want a potato. And you start imagining a potato. It's not going to satisfy you. You have to get the potato and cook it and eat it. So I need you to get your Bibles this morning. If you have it, hallelujah. If you don't, you can pull it up on your phone or a different device other than what you are watching on. Let's get in the word this morning. Let's activate resurrection power in the name of Jesus. John 11 says, now now a man named Lazarus was sick. John 11 verse 1. Now a man named Lazarus was sick. I don't know who is watching the broadcast this morning that you feel like your promise is sick. Maybe you feel like your destiny is sick. Maybe you feel like what God said concerning your life has been sick. Maybe your marriage is sick. Maybe your finances have been sick. Maybe your career has been sick. Maybe your business has been sick. We are come this morning in the authority of Jesus' powerful name to declare that every sick, every dead, or dying promise this morning we infuse majagatala bago rege pako rebabanda la bashaka. We infuse resurrection power. Ala bangada, jagabandaga, lege bandogo, rege bandale, jogubantale. We declare the very power that raised Jesus from the dead. Reba babarabo shokata, rababaraba sheke. Begins to rest upon this broadcast. It begins to rest upon this broadcast. The power of God in the name of Jesus. John 11 says, and a man named Lazarus was sick. And then it said, hallelujah. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Hallelujah. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus was sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. I hear the Spirit of God say, many of you have sowed seeds in past seasons. I hear the Spirit of God say, the seeds that you have sowed have not, they've not been in vain. Some of you didn't have the finances to sow and you sowed of your time. I feel the fire of God on my hand. And it's two things. Number one, there is an anointing for an an econ yeah, karaba, jigida. There is an anointing for an economic shift upon this broadcast. Mary's brother had died. But prior to that, Mary had taken an expensive ointment and anointed Jesus' feet. This morning, if you are believing for financial breakthrough, I want you to grab your business card. I want you to grab something that represents something you are believing for financially. I do that when the Lord instructs me to. Joshua did that last time. Joshua that is watching, part of my team. And his car was paid off in about two weeks. And he got, he got a gift of a car that was given to him for $50,000. I hear the Spirit of God say, just like Mary, just like Mary gave costly ointment to Jesus. I hear the Spirit of God say, many of you have sowed in tears in the last season. Somebody needs to share this broadcast as you jump on. I feel resurrection power moving, 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 moving. Arabakan Rebecca Riba Sakata. Elamando Riaka Pariba Kete. Somebody.
somebody share the broadcast. I hear the Lord say, God has remembered you. Ruva, God has remembered you. Gary, God has remembered you. Alamandele makaire mando. Kakaraba shandara makai alamande. I feel an atmosphere of miracles in the room. Ala mama ma shakara baba ba shekete. Ela mandoria baka. Good morning, Apostle Douglas. Y'all, I'm going to be ministering with him in a couple of weeks. Check out his page, like and follow him. And if you are in the North Carolina area, I want you to come and see me. Hallelujah. Come and see the Lord. This morning, there is a powerful resurrection power in the room share this broadcast as you jump on miracles are already taking place i want you to i see as i began to talk about lazarus dying i saw yo we have gotten over eight million dollars in financial testimonies through this ministry i feel an economic shift there's somebody watching this morning you're going to get a testimony of over a hundred thousand dollars this week. Thank you, Ruba. If you have the faith to access it, I want you to type out it's me. There's somebody else watching. You're gonna get an idea for a million dollar business this week. If you have the faith to access it, I want you to type out it's me. Jesus, I want you to grab something that represents what you are believing for, for financial breakthrough. I was sharing for those that just jumped on. The last time I did this, one of the last times, Joshua grabbed his car keys. And in two weeks, his car was paid off. My car was paid off as well. And Joshua also got a $50,000 car. So when the Lord tells me to do these prophetic activations... I mean business. Alaba shanda rababanda laba kaye karuba sikita laba se. Ruba, I keep seeing the word bestseller over you. I don't know if you're already a bestselling author, but I hear the Lord say you're about to be a bestselling author. Go ahead and write that book. In the name of Jesus. 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 I call for resurrection power. I feel an atmosphere of miracles in the room right now. And y'all, I'm not a professional singer, but there is this African song, and it's a short song. I want to sing it to activate this realm of miracles. The Lord told me eight Ps in the eight month. I want to begin to release it to you after I share the word. But I want to sing. Yeah, Apostle Douglas just shared, the, shared it. Hallelujah. I want you to hold something. You can hold your debit card. You can hold your wallet. You can hold your car keys. You can hold your house note. Something that is representing your financial breakthrough. And then I want you to type out what it is you're holding. And then I want you to share this broadcast as a seed to bless somebody else. Yes, Apostle Douglas. And I want to sing this song. This African song over your breakthrough. This African song, I want to sing it. It's a short song. This song was birthed out of a place where a baby actually died. Did you hear me? A baby actually died. And the person that wrote this song, as they were taking the baby to the hospital, she began to sing this song. And as she was singing this song, the baby resurrected back to life somebody shared the broadcast this morning as she was singing this song the baby resurrected back to life yes rose you're gonna be a best-selling author as well as she was singing this song the baby resurrected back to life i want to sing this song over you right now miracle worker 
You are the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Everybody needs to type out, God, come and do a miracle in my life today. The song goes, miracle worker, come and do a miracle. Miracle worker, you are the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. He is the miracle. Working God, your name. I want you to begin to travel for your miracle. I want to sing it one more time. Miracle worker. Hey, you are the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Somebody begin to cry out to God to locate you this morning in this atmosphere of miracles. Everybody needs to share this broadcast right now. As you jump on, I feel the power of God this morning. I feel miracles taking place. If you are sick in your body, I want you to stand up and try to do something you could not do. Hallelujah. I feel in my spirit this morning that many, many feel like it's too late. Many feel like the situation has gone on for too long. Yesterday I was praying for you. And I saw a lot of people carrying burdens. Thank you, Sandra, for sharing the broadcast. I saw a lot of people carrying burdens. And then I saw these angels being released. And they were removing the burdens. They were breaking the burdens up of people. Who, I don't know who has jumped on this broadcast this morning and you are carrying a burden. I hear the Spirit of God say, it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken off your shoulders and the yoke from off your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Thank you. Somebody said my voice is refreshing. In the name of Jesus. If you have been facing the burden, give me a hands up emoji. Right now, I invite the burden breaker 
Shamandere basokora bashata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. John 11. He said Lazarus was sick. Everybody share this broadcast as you jump on. Share it to the pages and the groups you are part of. I want to minister this word to you from John 11 really quickly. And then I'm going to declare over you the eight P's in the eight month. Glory to God. John 11 says, now the man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus was not lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sister sent word to Jesus. I don't know who is watching this morning that you have sent word to Jesus. I don't know who is watching this morning who is standing in the need of prayer. She sent word to Jesus and said, Lord, the one you love is sick. Everybody type while I'm coming out. Jesus came out of the cave. Lazarus came out of the cave. You are coming out of the cave. You are coming out of every place where the enemy has tried to bury you. You are coming out of Egypt. Egypt means a confined place. You are coming out of every confined place in the name of Jesus. Cheryl, I love you. She's, they sent word to Lazarus. They sent word to Jesus. They said, Lord, the one you love is sick. Hallelujah. And Lazarus, when he heard this, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death. Somebody watching right now, your loved one is very ill. I don't know if they're in the ICU. If that's your only to type out, it's me and I received their healing. There was a lady that we prayed over her. She was in the ICU. I prayed over her paper towel. They took it to her and laid it on her. She got out of there today. The lady is still alive and well. So right now, to the glory of God, right now we release the presence of God and we declare that this situation you are facing right now is not going to end in death. It's not going to end in your physical death. It's not going to end in the death of your promise. Everything that God has spoken to you shall be suddenly released in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus loved Mary and Martha. Some of you are going through situations. Thank you, Sheriff, for sharing the broadcast this morning. Some of you are going through situations and you're wondering, God, do you even love me? Can I just be honest? Can we just be honest this morning? Some of you, the problem has lingered for so long. Wow, Cheryl, I didn't know your brother was in the ICU. Everybody speak over Cheryl's brother right now. Marvin shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Everybody speak that over Marvin. And we declare your mama is healed from cancer, gypsy, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shaka, Rabba Ndeleba Kayele Basoko. When he heard this, Jesus said, The sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory. I told you I was going through an immigration situation where immigration was about to cancel my paperwork. And the man of God said to me, Agnes, it's not going to end in death. You're, you're about to know God as resurrection. You're about to know God in a dimension you have never known him before. I declare over you in Jesus' name that your promise will not end in death. I know the Lord told you you were going to be a millionaire. Oh, Sherry, he's really sick. We just declare life over him in Jesus' name. And we declare life over Gypsy's mama in the name of Jesus. Everybody share this broadcast as you jump on. Hallelujah. 
John 11, verse 4. Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory. I declare over your life concerning your destiny that your promise that this situation you are going through, that it will be that God is going to answer you. People are typing out their prayer requests. We'll pray over prayer requests in a second. God is going to answer you and God is going to get the glory. God is going to answer you and God is going to get the glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jean de la Basha. He said, Genesis, sorry, John chapter 11. John chapter 11, verse 17. Actually, John chapter 11, verse 11. He says, um, Jesus was going back to Lazarus to resurrect him. Life over your child, Brenda, in Jesus' name. And Jesus said, our friend Lazarus, verse 11, John 11, 11. A lot of you are in the 11 hour. Hallelujah. Somebody said their cousin is in the ICU. We just speak life in the mighty name of Jesus. Joyce, we speak life over your cousin and her son in the mighty name of Jesus. John 11, 11 says, after Jesus has said this, he went on to tell them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going to wake him up. I declare this morning in the name of Jesus that even though your promise may have fallen asleep, that God is waking up your promise in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, I go to wake him up. Glory to God. And then verse 17 says, on his arrival, I believe that this morning there is an arrival of your long awaited breakthrough. Somebody needs to type out. My long-awaited breakthrough is arriving suddenly in the name of Jesus. They said, Jesus said, Lord, Jesus, on his arrival, Lazarus had already been dead for four days. And then Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Somebody is saying this morning, Lord, if you had been here, my promise would not have died. Jesus he said, but I know that even now, somebody type out all capital letters, even now, Sandra, I hear the Spirit of God say, Elanuka yekia turushkia to a iakwa etenua zegendia. Enaya uantie ia ua aliakwe etia poria atua. Zonai alizu ia toe etia tua eakwe shekayai. Enai dui shiai. Anu jiai atia uria atie. I see a wind in your back. I see a wind in your step. And the word I hear for you is propel. I hear the spirit of God say, Sandra, that God is about to thrust you forth like an arrow. Ala akarikipu kekrikapu. I loose and I unlock your tongue. In the realm of the spirit, I infuse your spirit man with boldness. Ah, laba reke paros katai kapuraba sheke. I declare that God has not given you a spirit of fear. But I infuse your spirit with power. 
this morning there are many women that are watching that God has placed a sound on the inside of you but the enemy has tried to withhold it because of fear right now give me a hands up emoji I infuse I want to infuse your spirit with power because in this hour the daughters of God are arising I'm speaking to the sons of God as well but for a second, I want to release this word over the daughters. Shah. I feel an anointing of propel. And right now in Jesus' name, I unlock the tongue of every daughter of God that has felt like God has called you to break through, that has felt like there is a sound that God has placed in your spirit, but you have struggled to release it. I command your sound to break open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I feel the wind of the spirit of God. And I declare that the same sound the same wind that, that rested on the day of Pentecost. I call the daughters to arise. I call the sons of God to arise. I command your tongue to be unlocked. I command your sound to be released. I call the entrepreneurs. I call the ministers. I call the mothers. I call the fathers to arise. As I feel to speak over the daughters, I declare the wind of the Spirit of God in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I used to be very scared of releasing my sound. Is there anybody that has struggled with fear? Has God given you a God-sized dream and you are afraid to release it? People of God, I believe a great on my life is a great to be an apostolic midwife. I want to begin to pray over you in a second to release resurrection. But before I do that this morning, I want all 98 of us to click on that link I just shared. I believe that the Lord said to me that this is your hour of birthing. And the word of the Lord says, will I bring to birth and not cause to deliver? Many of you have come to the point of birthing. Y'all, right now, I have a six, I have six-figure income. I, I broke into that in the pandemic. A lot of you, you know that there is more inside you. 17 years ago, I began to see in the body of Christ, there were so many who were carrying the anointing for more. But they were struggling in their finances. They were struggling. And so I went to school and I got my license in, in mental health counseling. I'm now a licensed professional counselor. I'm also a certified coach. I've been a coach for over a decade. I want to help you birth your breakthrough. So I want you to click on that link right now. You can reserve your spot for only $1. And the monthly investment in yourself is going to be really an 80% discounted rate. I have three more days on my 9 to 5 job. I heard the Lord call me out of my 9 to 5 job to pour into you. Some of you are already my clients. We have the room getting packed, the coaching. We started this week. I want every, before we pray this morning, I want every single one of you to click on that link. Wow, Micheline just heard seven-figure income. I want you to click on that link and just type out, I'm in. I want, to, I, want to, I want to help you birth. I'm saying this because if you don't know the grace on a person's life, you cannot access it. There is a grace on my life. I had one conversation with one of my clients. In one conversation, her income doubled. By the time she came into session the next week, she, her income had increased by $4,000. Another client I worked with, she, they could barely pay their bills. They could barely pay their bills. And I worked with her. 
Now her husband's income multiplied times five. By the time she came into the next session, she used the strategies I gave her. She merged the power of the super with her natural strategies. And her husband's income multiplied times five. Dara De La Rosa just joined. God bless you. Welcome to the beginning of the best days of your life. I want every single person watching. You deserve it. You deserve to invest in yourself. To get something you've never gotten. You have to do something you have never done. I'm giving this to you. In corporate America, they pay me $80 a session for a group. The amount I'm charging you is 80% discounted. Good morning, Ryan. God bless you. Hallelujah. The amount that you're going to be invested, you can reserve your spot for a dollar. We already started this week in the coaching group. I did a broadcast on there, a breakthrough blast. We're already beginning to work on strategic goals. If you're saying, Agnes, I always know that God has called me. If you're saying, Agnes, my marriage has been on the brink of divorce. I know God has called me to restore my marriage. We're going to be giving you te techniques. Three of my clients were believing to be married. Three of them are getting married within me coaching them for a year. Two, of, two out of the three of them are in their mid-30s. They have been waiting for a long time for their spouse. We use these breakthrough strategies and three of them are getting married. If you are starting your journey to the altar, if you are believing God for breakthrough, yes, I have, I have a, one of my clients, she's an attorney. Her business has exploded. She's making multiple, well over six-figure income. I'm giving this to you as a gift. I'm not going to stay on it for too long because I want to pray over everybody. But I want those that are joining right now, every single person, click on the link and type out, I'm in. Hallelujah. I want to pray over everybody who is jumping on right now. Click on the link, glory to God, and type out, I'm in. Hallelujah. A number of my clients are watching this morning. Click on the link, reserve your spot for $1, and type out, I'm in. Glory to God. I'm just going to begin to pray as you all sign in this morning, as you all begin this journey into the beginning of the best days of your life. Hallelujah. Really quickly, as you all are signing up this morning, I want to tell you what you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting something every single day. Hallelujah. In my breakthrough coaching group. We have a, you have an account, a breakthrough account with us, and then you will be a part of our exclusive um, breakthrough coaching group. Glory to God. Here is what you're going to be getting as you join our breakthrough coaching this morning. Here is what you're going to be getting. Hallelujah. You're going to be getting dynamic breakthrough tools to demolish the mindsets that have been a barrier to your breakthrough. You're going to be getting dynamic too. Some of you are saying, man, I know that I'm right there at the edge of my breakthrough, but I need tools. I need tools to get to, to cross over. Hallelujah. You're going to be getting dynamic breakthrough tools to demolish mindsets that have been a barrier to your breakthrough. If you join the coaching today for a dollar, you're going to be getting explosive keys to unlocking your financial freedom through a systemic step-by-step -step approach. When you see people become millionaires, they don't usually do that overnight. There is strategies, hallelujah, there's strategies that catapult you into breakthrough. And so I'm going to be giving you a step, but I have clients that have been with me for about a year. And like I said, some of them are, in, are earning six-figure income. Hallelujah. So you're going to be experiencing, I'm going to be giving you uh, strategic, strategic tools. Hallelujah. Strategic tools to demolish the mindset that have been a barrier to breakthrough. What else are you going to be getting? You're going to be getting explosive keys to unlocking your financial freedom. I have, I have attorneys joining this group. I have 
Uh, I have attorneys joining this group. I have physicians joining this group. I have uh, people who have been in businesses for decades. They're joining this group. We did our official introduction last uh, yesterday. Everybody is so excited. We're going to keep one another accountable. Hallelujah. In this group, glory to God. You're going to get explosive keys to unlocking your financial freedom through a systemic step-by-step -step approach. I was at a place in my life where I could barely pay my bills. I used these tools and I became, and I now make a six-figure income in dollars. Hallelujah. I want to teach you these tools, glory to God, that catapulted me from barely able to pay my light bill to making six figures. Glory to God. I'm going to be giving you weekly coaching in a family setting and ample opportunity to have all your questions answered. A lot of you are saying, man, I guess I know that my child is supposed to already be home, but I have these questions. I don't even know how to pray for them to come home. Some of you are saying, Agnes, I have dreams. I don't know how to interpret them. I want to start out in the prophetic. I know I have a prophetic call. I don't know how to step into my prophetic call. I have a call to ministry. I don't know how to step into my call to ministry. Hallelujah. I want you to click on that link right now. So if you just signed up and you're also going to be getting free access to our monthly breakthrough ebooks and e-packets with detailed steps to unlocking your breakthrough. Hallelujah. You're going to be getting weekly Zoom small groups. So we're going to, we're going to, all the women that are believing for their children to come home, we're going to put them in a small group. All the single ladies believing for a husband, we're going to put them in a small group. And we're going to begin all the people believing to, to become six-figure income earners. We're going to put them in a small group. We're going to get to work on Zoom on a weekly basis. We're going to look at your goals one after the other. We're going to examine them and make sure that you get to your place of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So if you signed up this morning, hallelujah. I, want you, I, see, I see who all is signing up. Cheryl just signed up. Cheryl, welcome to the beginning of the best days of your life. Congratulations on making this journey into breakthrough. Hallelujah. I see somebody else, but I don't know your name. You just signed up. God bless you. If you just signed up this morning, give me a hands up emoji. I want to pray a special blessing over my students that are signing up this morning. Hallelujah. I have a lot of my students watching. Um, we're on our way to 100 that have signed, that are signing up. We're believing that thousands are going to sign up. That's why we made it so affordable so everybody could be a part. Hallelujah. Make sure you sign up today because we're already hitting the, the, this morning we had an intimate broadcast where I began to teach them how to set goals. Glory to God. So for those that have signed up this morning, I want to bless you with the blessing of Isaiah 45. One of the things I'm telling you every, and I'm not saying this to boast. I'm saying this to say there is a miracle anointing upon my coaching. Not just, am I going to be giving you strategies, but my clients, I had one of my clients, she got a, she was, they could barely pay their bills and she got a $35,000 miracle just a couple of months into my coaching program. And so for all who are signing into my coaching program, every single one of them, every, we have a 100% success rate. Every single one of them have received breakthrough in their life this year. So I bless you as you're coming into this program today, as you sign up, as you make this decision to move into the beginning of the best days of your life, I declare over you in the mighty name of Jesus, that the atmosphere, the grace of my life, I share it with you. For my clients this morning, my breakthrough coaching family, all who have joined and all who are joining this morning, the portion of the grace upon my life, I infuse it upon your life. That when you call, God will answer that when you are speaking, before you call out, God will say, here I am. I declare that as you are beginning this journey into breakthrough, that you are literally stepping into the beginning of the best days of your life. That the walls that have stood around your Jericho, your place of promise, I pull them down by force, by the power 
of Jesus' name. Jendalama karama sandalama kore basekete. Ikrepandele mashikari basakata yalamande. I'm excited. I look forward to seeing you in session. Everybody else right now, everybody, this is for everybody, right? We give a ton of free content weekly. Everybody, if you are sick in your body this morning, I want you to stand up and give me a hands up emoji. I'm going to do some word of knowledge. Somebody has a really, has a, a pain in your chest. Ryan, I believe you're going to join us soon in Jesus' name. Somebody has a pain in your chest. Hallelujah. Somebody has a pain in your chest. I, I feel like it's like a, I don't know if it's acid reflux or like an ul ulcer. Somebody has an ulcer this morning. The power and the presence of God is touching you. I release the presence and the power of God over you right now. The presence and the power of God. If you are sick in your body, I want you to stand up and type out, Agnes, I'm standing. I'm not going to keep you all too much longer. I want to speak a blessing over you right now. I release the healing presence. Sorry, guys. If you have a pain in your neck, my neck, I've been believing God for healing for my neck. I declare the healing presence and power of God over you. Right now, for the person that says they need healing in their hearing, I lose the healing presence of God in the name of Jesus. Right now, if you're sick in your body, try to move your body and do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. I am healed. Hallelujah. If you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. Try to move your body and do something you could not do. Try to move your body and do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to pray in a second. Glory to God. But I feel that a little bit of I feel a healing presence already going through the room. Glory to God. Monjagi zagu braze kalo sata ye mandoro sheke parus kata la bandere bashoko. If you are sick in your body right now, somebody has an issue with your mouth right now. The presence of God is healing you. Somebody has an issue with sleep, sleep apnea, breathing in your sleep. Power of God is touching you right now. Somebody has an issue with your breathing, the power of God. Yada Bashaka. I hear the Lord say ulcerative colitis is getting healed right now. If you are sick in your body, try to move your body and do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, somebody said they're believing for marriage. Make sure you join the coaching. I'm going to be teaching some strategic tools for your journey to the altar. Hallelujah. But if you're sick in your body, try to move your body and do something you could not do. Maria said it's her teeth. Right now, the healing presence of God is flowing. I believe about five people just got healed. Try to do something you could not do. If you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. Hallelujah. Type out all capital letters, I am healed. Glory to God. I feel like somebody's chest is feeling better. Somebody's neck just got healed. Glory to God. I take that for my neck. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Move your body and try to do something you could not do. Chronic pain is getting healed. Abdominal issues are getting healed. Issues with the large intestine. Issues with digestion are getting healed. Right now, if you are 80% or more better, type out all capital letters, I am healed. Type out all capital letters, I am healed. If you are 80% or more better, glory to God. Somebody is getting healed. Somebody says, I believe I am healed. Um, I believe the issue. In my yes. Shireen, is your ear feeling better? Alkini, did your thyroid just get healed? If you are 80% or more better, type out all capital letters, I am healed. Jonda Rababa Shaka. Type out all capital letters, I am healed. If you are 80% or more better, glory. Wendy just got healed. Thank you, Lord. I like for people to start testifying so you all know that God is the healer. Rabasha, somebody's mind is getting healed. Somebody has been facing torment in your mind. The power of God is touching you right now. 
Right now in the authority of Jesus' name, we lose the healing presence and power of God over every person who is sick. We stand upon the authority. Shireen just got healed. Thank you, Lord. Shireen, what was going on with your ears? Her ears just got healed. Thank you, Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus, we release the presence and the power of God. We command, we drive out the spirit of infirmity. Thank you, Lord. Somebody just got healed. Their chest pain, their chest just got healed. Thank you, Lord. Robo shakata labanda laba. We lose the power and the presence of God over you right now in Jesus' mighty name. We drive out infirmity. We command it to go from you in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Love you, Charles. God bless you. We lose the healing presence of God. Test it out one more time, guys. Test it out one more time. And if you are 80% or more better, we lose healing for your ovaries. Shalita, in Jesus' mighty name. Joshua, if you can share our YouTube link, but don't pin it. Hallelujah. Just leave the breakthrough coaching pinned. But if you can share our YouTube link, hallelujah. I want to I wanna go release some declarations over you as you begin your week, but I do that on YouTube. Hallelujah, brosh katap. We lose the healing presence and power of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are 80% or more better, try to move your body. We already have, I think we have two people healed. Try to move your body and do something you could not do. And I want to speak a blessing over you. Hallelujah. Somebody said that they were hearing Paul say it out tonight is. Wow, thank you, Lord. Tonight is just got healed. Thank you, Lord. Every single person, click on that link that just just shared and follow my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Agnes Ibedi. But really quickly, I want to speak this blessing over you. Hallelujah. As we finish the broadcast this morning. Also follow my Instagram as well. Instagram.com slash Agnes Ibedi. Hallelujah. But it says... Glory to God. Lazarus had already died and Jesus wept. And John 11 verse 38 says, Jesus came to the tomb and Jesus said, roll away the stone. As you begin your week this, this morning, I declare that, and thank you, Lord. Alainka just got healed. Thank you, Lord. I think that's four healings so far. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare in the authority of Jesus' name that every stone that has been rolled over your promise, that the stone is being rolled away in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus said, roll away the stone. He said in a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Laz That's awesome, Ryan. Lazarus, come forth. And he said, and the man, he said, the man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, loose him and let him go. Right now, as we begin the week, I want to release a, a declaration over you to loose you out of every old season, to release the breaker anointing, to help you break into a new season. But go on YouTube, youtube.com slash Agnes Betty. Click on that link that just, just shared. Hallelujah. And I want to release declaration. Amen. In Jesus' name, Petra, my niece is healed. Somebody says, I was just praying for tinnitus to be healed. Wow. Hallelujah. Teresa, we declare your husband is healed in Jesus' name. Everybody follow my YouTube. First of all, I want you to like this page. If this broadcast has blessed you, I want you to like this page. And then I want you to follow my YouTube channel. And I want you to sign up for my coaching. You can reserve your spot for a dollar. We are, we started officially today. So we are, we have hit the ground running. Hallelujah. We're already setting goals. Glory to God. I'm excited for what it is that God is going to do. Thank you, Teresa. I love you so much. Hallelujah. I want you all to go on um, youtube.com slash Agnes Ibedi. Who is excited and who is going on there? I want to release to you eight peas in the eight months. The Lord gave me Merlane. God bless you. Um, after you subscribe, just type out, I subscribe. Type out, I subscribe. Glory to God. The Lord told me eight Ps in the eight month. Marlene just joined the coaching. God bless you. I just saw what you signed up. God bless you, Marlene. I look forward to, to working with you. 
Congratulations on making the decision to begin the best days of your life. How long is the coaching for? As long as you need it. We're not going to scoot you out. I have clients I've been working with for about a year. They've gotten so much breakthrough. They'll, every single one of them is like, Agnes, we're going the next level. They're like, because we've gotten so much breakthrough, we need more breakthrough. So we're going to go in. They've started some of them earning six-figure incomes. One of them, her income doubled in a session. Hallelujah. They're birthing ministries. Their family, one of them, she had been married for about 40 years. And her husband said, she was crying the other day in session. Her husband said to her, in all the 40 years we've been married, this is the happiest I've ever been. She used the tools that I taught her in our breakthrough coaching session. So you can reserve your spot for a dollar. Jump on and be a part. Like I said, I made it an 80% discounted rate from what I, would what I would charge in corporate America with my 12 years of experience in the field. Because I want every single person to be a part. Hallelujah. I'll see you all on YouTube. I bless you all. Have a glorious week. I'm going on to YouTube. Yes, Charles. <laughs> I launched it. I did an official welcome to Nate. <laughs> Nate is one of my clients. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nate, Nate is an executive client, y'all. Nate, Nate Johnston is, a, is one of my, is my spiritual father. Apostle Andrew is also my spiritual father. But Nate Johnston was so instrumental in me birthing this coaching program. So I told him, I said, I'm giving you free access to everything. And I officially uh, welcomed him on the page, him and Christy. But you know Nate is shy, y'all. So he didn't say anything. But he was like, thank you. <laughs> so Nate and Christy, check out their, their mentorship, by the way, myyearthegrow.com. I'm a mentor there as well. We just started there and we are excited about season three. All right. God bless y'all. Sign up for my coaching. I'll see y'all on youtube.com slash Agnes Ibedi. God bless you. Have a glorious week. Hallelujah. Full of miracles, full of resurrection power. Glory to God. I'll see y'all soon on YouTube. I'm going to be De declaring over you eight P's to possess. Yes, we love Nate and Christy. I want to be pro uh, prophesying over you eight P's for your eight months. So make sure you don't miss it on YouTube. I'll be on there for about 10 minutes. All right. I love you. I'll see you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.